Welcome to OpenClove Video Exchange. Today, we will use OpenClove SDK to add live visual communications to any iOS application. Here is a sample iOS application. It is a simple online book created using a built-in template from Xcode. We will now add live visual communications to this application. First, let's add the SDK to our project. Right click on the application, select add files to application. Find the folder with the SDK files. And add it to the workspace. We will now add the OVX view header file to the relevant view controller header file. We will also add a global variable OVX view. This will provide the UI for the live visual communications. Let's also add the required frameworks and libraries. Select the project target. Select build phases. Link libraries with binary. Click on the add button. Select all the frameworks as indicated in the documentation. And add it to your project. Now let's add some basic code to start and end a live call from inside an application. We will first add a small image as a button to start and end a live call. We will now add some basic parameters for the OVX view. Such as the API key. The base URL the API handler and the video codec. We will also add some basic live call parameters. Let's assign a user ID and a username. For this application we will use a unique string as the user ID. We will also use the iOS device name as the username in this example application. The user ID needs to be unique for each user using the same API key. The group ID provides reference to the video room. Each group ID is associated with the same common video room. All calls made with the same group ID will be placed in the same video room. An application can pick the same group ID for its video room. This will place all calls from the users of that application to be in the same video room. Alternatively, the application can assign separate group IDs to each section of the online book. In this scenario, each section of the online book will have a separate video room for the users to interact. The application developer can use their own application logic to create private video rooms, or contextual video rooms. The application can then share the group ID with appropriate users or application contexts. The mood, or theme refers to the various video frames, backgrounds, text overlays, and colors. OpenClove provides various standard and customizable themes for the video room. We will also provide a default video window size and location on the screen for the live call. Once the live call is started, the user can pinch to resize, and drag to change the location of the video window. Finally, we will add the tap event handler for the live board button. This is to start the live video call and to end the live video call. And, that's it. We are done. Now your iOS application has a live video room embedded in it. Build the source, and run it on your iPad.